Oh, there you go. Thank you, ma'am. Much better. Okay, so even though we just charged it, it's dying after just like a minute or two, right? The plan is to cut it open. I'm gonna use this seam here. I guess teardown videos I've seen online, it's pretty thick plastic, so it's gonna be a bit of a, of a chore. And then... We're like gonna use these, and we're gonna use this one instead of this one. And when we cut it open, we're gonna replace one of them with this one, and, and we're gonna fix it with new batteries. Yep, so let's go cut this open, and then we'll see if one of those two will fit the, the gut to this thing, okay? We'll lose some of the opaqueness, meaning like when the light's on, it won't be as uh, spread. It'll be a little individual LEDs. All right, let's go open this up. Let's see what's inside. Whoa. Did you imagine that that was what was in there? Mm -hmm. You did? <laughs> cool. All right, let's take it out. Go ahead and pull the robot out of there and then we'll set the we're probably never gonna be able to use this plastic ball again yeah he's cool you think so yeah all right so if you take a look these wheels on the top they don't they don't do anything except for help center them in do you want to see this it's got a little spring in there spring so he's bouncy let's do it. maybe that's what turns it on and then down there there's some leds and look on the bottom what yeah, it's like a piece of felt yeah what are those gears yeah Isn't that cool it's very heavy. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, not this thing's me. not too huge. It's not heavy. I'm going to set this aside. Okay. I think that's just like a little balancer. Okay. Okay. Set that aside. So now we need to get to those batteries. So you see, let me point me a little pointing device. So that is the the battery in there. And you, as soon as I cracked it open, it had that really sweet smell of outgassing lithium ion batteries. So these are probably done for. Uh, so let's see. It's got some screws. Do you want to help me take it apart and get to the batteries? Very nice. Now let's see if that'll do it. I gotta to lift the top up. Oh, it's got a little um, a header in this corner. A little, a little electrical connection. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice if it came up all as one little unit, wouldn't it? Ooh, I'm trying another. to take the top off. Mm -hmm. And there's another one that's not plugged into anything. I wonder if that's like a debugging port. Oh, there's another one over there. Just gotta lift up. Wiggle and lift and wiggle and lift and hope nothing pops out. Like, oh, I saw something. I must have just turned on for a second. And when did they have holes in them? Where? Which holes? Point them with the. That one and the. the other little one. tiny, tiny holes? Yeah. Those are called vias. They carry electrical connections from this side. It goes down like Mario in the, in the tube. Yeah. And then it goes to the other side. Look. And then it comes out there and then it goes to some other part. And they're like little roadways for elect electricity. That cool. So we found out that there's roadways right here. So the, it starts from the R side and then it goes from here. So it starts here and then it flips around and goes here for of electronic. Well, that's good. This is like one little piece that we won't have to go desoldering and stuff. That's nice. Let's set that aside, okay? Let's set that over here. So. We're figuring out what to do with this one. Looks like we got, let's see if we can take that plastic top off and get to the batteries. Okay. What do you think? Oh, let's try it together. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, good one. All right, and then the other one, side. Two, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, two Whoa. better than one. Totally. Now there's Whoa. the batteries. Oh, Look at that gold part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to the battery part, so... And we're seeing stuff that are in the batteries, and we're gonna replace the batteries, and then we're gonna like go back and do more everything that we did backwards, and we're gonna put this on. And we have the same battery, so we can just put one of those batteries in there, and then we'll be all fixed with the same batteries. Exactly. I think yeah, Daddy. I think we do have some of these, but they might be too big, like the ones for your helicopter. I tell you what, let's measure these and we'll order the right ones on the computer. Okay, let me look at that. You want to show people at home what we measured? Here you go. Yep. All right. Those measurements are what? What did we measure? What thing did we measure? The batteries. The battery, that's right. 
like if you have these batteries that are in the same bowl and you're taking it apart just like us and you see this battery with the trash can and X around it, that means do not throw the battery in the trash, okay? All right, <laughs> we won't. Okay, let's see. So we replaced the battery. We ordered new batteries in these. And then we put new batteries in here, and they he have more electricity than the old ones. Now the old ones had uh, 3.7 volts at 350 milliamp hours, MAH. And the new ones have 3.7 volts and 380 milliamp hours, and they still fit. Because they're the same size. Now we bought I bought a couple different ones because uh, they're like two dollars a piece or less, uh, and I was hoping that we could shoehorn in a slightly bigger battery, uh, but it wasn't the case. If people want to get the part number, there's one of the part numbers that we know works. Uh, I ordered these from Amazon. I'll try to include some links down in the description. Let's see, is there enough light over here? Yeah, it's a little bit more light. Thank you. Basically, I'm trying to line up all these different headers. There's some for the motors, and before we bolt it all or before we put it all back together. Let's put these screws in here real quick. Uh, we want to power it up and see if we can get it to work. And if we can get it to work, then we'll put it all the way back together because it's no fun if we put it all the way back together and then find out that I made a mistake. Uh, and in like the soldering of the, pull, the cables. And if we find out that it works, we'll show you how to control it and that it works and we'll show you on our ground. All right, I'm gonna go put this on the charger and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Works. Think, well, that's thinking about it. Whoa! Whoa. Did you see it right itself yeah. to get a better charge? Yeah, you hurt my eyes a little bit. Yeah, I bet. Those are really bright LEDs. Yeah. Let's not look right at them. Right. Okay, so is it charging? I think it is. Okay, let's see. So we should tape these on to help them uh, diffuse a little bit more than they would be doing because normally you have all that plastic has to go through and now we won't have anything it'll be perfectly clear so and it kind of the lights that we test out kind of blind me so we're putting tape on so it won't blind people i will glue this another time okay i've got to find just the right kind of glue so like i was saying if you have uh adhesive that oozes it'll ooze on the outside and the inside and then these little rollers will be bumping over it and get jammed up so we got to find something that's thin that can hold this plastic uh, sphere together, these two halves, and also not glue the, the stuff on the inside. I can kind of tell already that th this thing doesn't want to write itself, so it's not. It's definitely not as loose as the original one. Okay, can you slap it? Oh, you want to... Hey, you really need to slap it hard. Mm-hmm. still pretty bright. It's okay to me. Okay. It doesn't blind me. Right. And it's really pretty. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. You want to turn it around this way so you can see it? Now we just want to play. Alright, now we go gentle. Okay, why don't you move it around slowly? Right. I got it. <laughs> Not too bad. All right. <laughs> Told you. That is a crazy thing. We have to glue it, and then I think we'll be done. Okay? okay. All right. I would call that a success. What about you? A little bit. All right. High five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Right. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out, over and out.